Hello everyone, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, some of my new patch uh, called Sliding OSC. Uh, it's based on a uh, Waves module, so it's basically two oscillators uh, that are going to slide most of the time, but not always, and a few other elements. I took advantage of the bars uh, functionality, uh, the bars operator actually, which you can see right now here. It's uh, these elements which are moving on the screen and giving me some visual feedback. Uh, there's only four of those bars. Now you can see three and I'm going to add the fourth one here. Right. So that's how it looks. Uh, of course it would be nice to have a bit more than four. Uh, you can use a second bar but it will go in, in on top of this one and it's not going to look so nice and they're going to be flickering or conflicting with each other. Um, what else? Uh, yes, I'm also using quite a lot of the presets functionalities. Uh, so it's a bit complicated right now and I'm uh, going to simplify it very soon. So this is just a first version um, and I hope the video will uh, look kind of correct. Uh, so please forgive me if anything is working wrong. I'm going to put a little sound now and do the demonstration. So let's go. So first, let's go with the sound. Oh yes, here it is. So quite simply, we have these uh, two different oscillators which are sliding from maximum to minimum. Yep, quite aggressive. Here I have a filter. And here I can change the shape of the oscillator. This is squarish. And this is going to be more like sine wave, right? If I want to change the sound of my oscillator, I can always use this one here as well. Right? Now what about these two knobs? Um, these ones, they are going to change the behavior, uh, basically, of these uh, descending oscillators. Right, so the first one to know is this one, um, the knob number four or three, actually in the nomenclature of the LF, and this one is going to slow down or accelerate my two elements, like this. Now they're at the minimum, so very slow. Take care with your ears, and then this one is going to slow down or accelerate one of the two elements here, the second one, right? And if I press this knob, it's going to be the same with the other one. So this way I can make them get quite close to each other. This button here is to ensure that I will see the big knob functionality, otherwise sometimes it tends to disappear. Now I know that it's there. <coughs> Alright, going to accelerate this. And then this knob is to reverse the movement, like this. And the fourth knob is where the tricky thing appears. So, <coughs> I'm going to press it here. So this is a freeze preset, basically. So I have two presets and this one is the freeze one. So I can go back to the bars by touching this or this, one of these two. And you can see that my two oscillators have been frozen. So, I can still change here the shape of the two oscillators together. Let's say we keep it here. This is still my filtering, but these elements here have changed function. This one, of course, is going to restart it. But these two now don't do the same thing at all. So this one uh, is now actually changing the tuning of one of the two oscillators. And this one is a distortion. Very powerful. Yeah. 
So the combinations are very powerful. That's pretty nice. Now the no the buttons here have changed a bit as well. This one and this one I'm not using right now. It's for the other parts of the patch, the one we saw before with the moving, the movement, the sliding. And this one now is going to change my cue. Uh, so uh, the resonance basically so that when I go around there, I don't get the, this kind of nasty movement, although here it's not that bad. Right? So I can always restart and then play with it from there, right? That's the way I use it, but of course there's different ways of using it. So that's about it, and uh, thanks very much for your patience, and uh, we get to talk soon. Thanks.